the last video we did, we were odd ad hunting. There's an odd ad up on the wall, right back over there. Anyway, uh, now we're out of Coolidge, Texas, over some friends of ours, and we are fixing to chow down. We've been uh, we've been actually catching a crappie this morning. We're gonna there's Colton right there, and right there we got some actually catfish. They had some catfish. Deb, I know how much you like the camera. I know. Honey, turn around and say hi. She's not going to say hi. The The show we did from here is going to air soon, and uh, she told me if she's on it, somebody's getting sued. Anyway, and I'm, she's as I, as I walk towards her, she's running away. Okay. Chuck, turn around and say hi. There. There's the famous Chuck Frazier. And there's the famous Colton Warren. I'm a legend in my own mind. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And look at some of these deer in here. This is his deer barn. Look at some of these deer. But uh, Chuck and Deb are friends of ours, and they've got a, look at all these deer. Is that one, too bad it's not wide, huh? But uh, this is their office. People ask me all the time, say, what does that deer farmer's office look like? Kind of like this. And oh, that green thing back there is a chute, a handling facility where the deer, we got here earlier today, and they were running deer, vaccinating deer. And uh, anyway, there's, the office right there, the desk right there, and the lunchroom right there, and I'm fixing to eat some catfish. <laughs> okay, so we were here this morning, all right, and Chuck winds up, crappie Chuck over there, yes, he wound up, he had, uh, we're kind of hitting this lake, and uh, anyway, he caught five, and Colton and I didn't catch anything, so we gave it a rest and uh, ate a nice lunch, and now we're back, and hopefully, he says he's gonna give me first up. He gave me first up last time. <laughs> All right. They were here about two hours ago, three hours ago. So we're gonna find out here. You know, there's some brush down here, and I mean, we yesterday they caught fish like there was no tomorrow, and there. <laughs> then all of a sudden we had a cold front come down, and the cold front has slowed it down big time. So anyway, we're kind of we're having fun, but we're not catching anything. I'm not. Chuck caught a few. Anyway. I thought I'd catch one here in the first cast. Bam, y'all were going to be able to see what a fish looks like. I'm hoping to see what one looks like at the end of my line. I got one. And this is a legit deal. I ain't kidding you. Now, look at this. Okay. I've been fishing here. Chuck has got, we just started. You're going to follow me over here. I want, and I'm going to show you where I got this thing hooked. Chuck came over here. Colt and I were fishing about 10 minutes and hadn't had a bite. Chuck comes over, chunks in a couple of times. Catches two of them, and I said, the only way I'm going to catch one is if I snag him. And guess what? I snagged him. <laughs> but that's all right. Like Chuck said, we're meat hunting. And look, here he comes with another one right here. What are you doing? How in the world are you well, doing? Huh? You've got yours in the mouth. I'm using a different color. You know, I never have caught any on that color. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> I've what never, kind of friends do I have? I've never caught one on that color, on that white one. <laughs> well, That's the first one. <laughs> well, congratulations. You did good, buddy. I'm going to catch another one. And the thing is, he will. Have y'all ever had a day like that where you go fishing with somebody and they're catching them and you're not? Okay, I see one over here, a red and yellow like he's using. I think I'll use that one. The problem is with Chuck, you don't know if he's telling the truth or not. And that's the truth. I'll take that a foul hook every day. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's just, we're meat. Because we're, we're meat hunting, right? Look at that. Yeah, I'm telling you, the guy's magic. Meat. Magic. The guy's actually. Uh, how you say that in real, real nice terms? He's kicking my butt. I'm sure they're glad I brought Chuck so he could catch some fish and I could watch. Right. You Man, know. I can't believe this. I know that the, it's just the weather. That's it. <laughs> now, if uh, in about another three weeks, if we were standing right here, it'd get kind of ugly. Oh, 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 look at there. Man, what's, what's the old saying? A, a blind a blind hog every once in a while? Goodness, look at that. Who's having fun now? You're catching. Now, that's a monster right there. Well, you have to come up and bump me with it just to, just to wake me up. Yeah. See what happens is there is no honor here. As soon as he moves, I drop my baby. Uh -oh. Here, run, fish. Jump back. Jump He's back. 
That old timer cannot get you. Get Hurry up, on. run, run. <laughs> All right, so uh, it is March the 1st, and uh, it's the day after the conclusion of the Texas whitetail deer season 2018-19. And last night, right at dark, we had a big deer come in and a hunter shoot a deer, and we were unable to recover it last night. So we pulled out, went back this morning, and they're back there with it now, taking care of it. And I would just want you to take a look at this deer. This is an unbelievable buck. We've been trying to get him for, for two years now. Anyway, now he's on the deck, and I mean, what a beautiful deer. Uh, what a way to conclude the deer season, wouldn't you think? I mean, it's pretty awesome for it to be my first one. I love it. He's a beast. He's a monster. It was a good, solid hunt. It's a good shot placement. You know, he came out. She took her time, waited till she had a good shot, almost turned the broadside. He almost didn't get him. <laughs> we saw him first, and then he ran off. I would have thought there's no way he's coming back. And she wanted to stay, and he came back, and she took her time, and got him. Big buck down. <laughs> You got that right. I mean, look at that. I can't wait to see how wide he is. But how many points do you have? 21. 21! <laughs> way to go. Good job. That's a way to end the deer season out, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Houston Rodeo. Shannon Tracy. Hey. Scott right there. Okay. And... There's John. And look at that cowboy hat on Johnny. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my cap. Okay. So, anyway, they're fixing to have bull riding right now. So, I'm trying to call Johnny into going down there and getting all one. He says he's not going to do it. Yeah. All right, so we're here as guests of Shannon, and, uh, and, 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 and do what? And what we're gonna show you here is Shannon, uh, she outfits Kawasaki mules to where they're unbelievable. Of course, we've got some at the ranch, but I'm gonna show you what they did here. This is a pretty cool deal, what they did. They made this for the Houston Rodeo. This is the brand new one. So tell everybody what this is. This is our mini ambulance. And who made it for y'all? You. Not me, but you Shannon did right work. there. Yeah. We've been doing it for years. Look at this. Yeah, no, Listen. Look at it. Yeah. In the back. Shannon, let me get past you. I've got to show what's in the back here. And look at that. And so literally, there, there's like 100,000 people come here every day for like three weeks. And, uh, and you couldn't get an ambulance around here. But so they built one at UVC Power Sports for the Houston Rodeo. How cool is that? Look, I was thinking about taking a nap. Get, ready to drive get in there. Oh, they're gonna drive off. They got they got a call. Oh boy! Look at there. All right. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So we're down here, and I've been trying to find something to eat, and they said they had some chicken down here. Boy, do they ever. So I came down here for some chicken. I thought it was going to be fried chicken, but here's the chicken. I like rare meat, but not that rare. So we're kind of in an area where uh, there's a lot of real gentle animals. And I showed up, and they went crazy. No, I'm kidding. You'll see how come I, I said that when I turn this camera around and show you. Because I'm kind of mad at these guys. How you doing in there? Huh? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. Ooh, look at that one right in there. Yeah. There's a whole pile of pigs. Some of the luckiest pigs in the world, that's all I can say. Because if I saw them some other place and some other time, I think I know what I'd do to them. And then eat them. Look at this unit right here. Is that not just bad to the bone? I mean, look at that. It's wonderful. And then we got this one over here. 
if this one looks familiar, it, it, it ought to, because I got I got its twin brother and his name Hoss sitting in the barn the ranch right now. And so anyway, this is unbelievable and uh, Yeah, these are seeds that are brand new that we haven't done before. These uh, are brand new kind of material we use. And all the quilting, so this is all brand new, plus our brand new Longhorn logo, I love that logo, which is really pretty cool. And we have an amber logo over here, so we have two brand new logos. We have the uh, hunting version, and we have the ranch version. Which so, one do you like? I like them both. <laughs> Good answer. I like them both. <laughs> yeah. And y'all will like coming to the Houston Rodeo, seriously. And look up Shannon, UVC Power. Look her up. She'll Thanks. And better yet, come to our store. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 3. And definitely come here for Rodeo. Right now, between today and what, March 2nd? Almost over with, but all the way through March 17th. And hey, folks, we have some awesome deals going on right now for the month of March for everything that we have in stock. So check us out online. And I'm so glad you came to join. I'm so glad y'all got to experience it. Yeah, I've been looking for a comfortable place. It's just a little noisy, but. This is real comfortable. How long can I stay here? As long as you want. Okay, you're in trouble. <laughs>